Oh. <sighs> well, this feels weird. <laughs> you know, I wasn't keeping track of this, but according to an email I got from YouTube, it's been over four months since I last posted on this channel, which is just absolutely insane because back when I was doing this full time, it was daily uploads. Sometimes I would do three, four, even five videos in a day. So it's definitely been an adjustment. Um, I apologize for being away for so long without saying anything. I know some of you guys definitely thought that I was dead, which is reasonable considering I just kind of disappeared, right? So I'm back now and let's talk about what I've been up to and also what the future of this channel looks like. Now, as we go through it, I will be opening up some packs from this booster box here. It's the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Mythic Booster Box. I caught this, I wanna say over two years ago and just never found a good time to open it. So we're doing it now in case you guys get tired of looking at this face. This can be a nice distraction. So uh, yeah, I do have a list here of all the things I want to talk about. Uh, originally, I was just gonna go off the top of my head, just wing it, but I want to make sure I don't miss anything important. So number one on this list is why did I stop posting and what I'm doing now. So why did I stop posting videos? Why did I take such a long hiatus? Well, honestly, um, first things first, I wasn't trying to go away for so long. I didn't think that I would actually be gone for, for maybe even five months now. The plan was to take a week, maybe two weeks off to just chill out, uh, reset, and give some thought to what kind of content I want to start putting out going forward, right? But a couple of weeks turned into a month, a month turned into two months, and now we're here. So we got a Mass Sane Brainwash No More, and the final card is, ooh, Vegito Super Warrior Reborn. That actually looks pretty nice. Uh, now it says PR at the bottom here, which I'm pretty sure means a promo card. And before anyone asks, uh, these cards are probably not worth anything because this entire box was literally 40, 50 bucks. And normally they're like 100, 150. So this is just like a promo box, I guess. And actually the main reason I got it was because of this guy right here this Super Saiyan Blue Kak and Goku that I saw in the box because um, it's a Dokkan card, right? So uh, yeah, let's open up this one next. And uh, yeah, it's been over four months since I last posted. Did not mean for it to go for that long, but sometimes things just happen. But I want to start posting videos again because I definitely miss it. For the past couple of months, there's just been this um, hole in my life and I think it's the fact that I no longer have the creative outlet that YouTube provided me, which has been tough. And of course the fact that I miss you guys too, obviously. But yeah, I don't have a chance to be as creative as I used to be. And even though I've never been like a super artsy person, I do consider myself to be a somewhat creative person, right? And I need that outlet and YouTube was that for me. So. Um, that's also been tough. Uh, I think I did talk about this in a previous video, you know, many months ago. Uh, but in case you guys missed it, I am currently a real estate agent, um, a realtor, right? And that's been great. I've been doing it for about seven, maybe eight months now. I've been learning a lot, been making some pretty decent money, honestly. But it's not the same, right? It's not the same as YouTube, and I still intend to continue doing the real estate agent thing. I still intend to continue buying and selling houses, but I'm also now gonna do YouTube as a uh, side hustle, I guess. It's no longer gonna be my full-time thing, which was the case for five or six years, and it was great while it lasted, but realistically, it just stopped being um, profitable enough to continue doing full-time. And 
now we're getting down to the main reason, the real number one reason that I stopped making videos for a bit. And that is the fact that um, it no longer was financially feasible to do it full time. You guys know I always like to keep it real with you, right? And this is a topic that some people might shy away from just because it's too personal or whatever, but I'm okay with talking about it. So like I said, um, one of the main reasons, maybe the main reason I stopped posting videos is because I wasn't making enough money. And one thing that happens as you get older, and now I'm 29, so I'm getting up there, is uh, you start, you know, getting more expenses or you have more expenses to pay off. And one thing that happened to me was, um, oh, did we get this carefully before? If not, this is really, really clean. Damn. Um, yeah, one thing that happened recently was I bought a house and uh, with that comes a mortgage. And the mortgage is not cheap. So for a couple years, YouTube was actually pretty good money-wise. Um, obviously, I never did it for just the money. I did it out of the love of, um, you know, posting videos, uh, recording videos, uh, playing games, especially Dokkan Battle, obviously. And the money just came with um, being somewhat successful, I guess, at this YouTube thing. But over the years, especially in the last um, one to two before I had to st wait, these are literally the two cards we got in the first pack. That's weird. Um, but yeah, over the last like year or so, um, that started to go down. Um, the ad revenue, the watch time, the views, uh, the sponsors, of course, with that became less and less um, active in my inbox. <laughs> and it just wasn't sustainable to do YouTube full time. So I had to pivot and go to real estate. And um, it was a good option for me because it's something that's been in my family for a long time. So I was able to uh, get my foot in the door with the help of my dad. So uh, I'm very thankful for that. But, um, you know, like I said, the channel wasn't doing as well. And I could sit here and make a million excuses for why that happened, whether it's um, the game's dying, or the YouTube algorithm is changing and it screwed me, or uh, my viewership is getting older and they're no longer interested in mobile games, or whatever else I can think of, right? But I'm not gonna do that because I don't think that's true. What really happened is I got lazy and I wasn't being as creative or innovative as I used to be. I wasn't trying to uh, evolve with um, the times. You know, as I progressed through my YouTube career, um, more and more people started doing similar types of videos, right? And more and more people started doing Dokkan videos. And yes, there was increased competition, which made it harder to stand out. It made it harder to get as many views as I used to. Um, but that's not a valid excuse because if I was good enough, if I was really a good YouTuber, I would have evolved with the time. So that is another Dokkan card. I'm pretty sure there's been multiple Dokkan cards actually, but this is for sure. The Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta is definitely from a Heroes collab. Yeah, that's dope. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, there's always gonna be increased competition for things that are successful, especially things that don't have a very high barrier to entry, like making Dokkan videos. And um, if I wanted to survive, I had to continue evolving, and I didn't, because I was lazy. I was uh, honestly losing a little bit of interest in the game as well, so that was part of it in the later years. But what it comes down to at the end of the day is that I wasn't good enough. And for that reason, people started to watch less. They started to go to other channels that were, you know, putting in more effort or other YouTubers that were putting in the effort that was required to make interesting videos. And I don't blame anyone for that because if I was a subscriber, if I was a fan of the game, I probably would have stopped watching me too. So I'm just being real with myself. I'm taking responsibility for the uh, slow death of the channel. And it's just what it is, you know, that's just how it went. So like I said, 
started making less money, became less profitable. I wasn't able to make the necessary changes to uh, make my videos interesting again. And therefore, I had to find a different way to uh, pay off my mortgage. You know, it was tough because I really did love YouTube. I really did love making videos, but you know, sometimes life gets in the way. So um, I think this leads us to another pretty big question, which is, do I still play Dokkan? And am I still gonna be making Dokkan videos now that I'm back? Um, the answer to the first question is yes, absolutely. I still play Dokkan pretty regularly, not daily. I do miss some logins here and there. And um, these days I play it much more, I guess casually compared to before. Because before, for my videos, I had to keep up with everything, right? Every data download, every, oh my God, this Goku looks beautiful. <laughs> that is an amazing UI Goku. Wow, that should totally be a card art. That should totally be an LR UI Goku in the future. But yeah, um, I'm pretty casual with the game now. I still keep up with uh, you know new characters, new banners and stuff like that, but I'm not really uh, spending any money on the game. I'm not really tracking uh, all the new updates with the game. I just play it like probably 90% of the player base, right? Uh, we were very much hardcore players and we were like maybe a little bit too into the game in some instances, which is fine, which is fine. But um, I'm in a, I guess, different phase of my life now where, uh, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, that is a, that is a secret rare. That is a secret rare Xeno Cell, or Cell Xeno, unspeakable abomination. That is literally the second secret rare I've ever pulled. Um, I don't think it's worth much, once again, because this is a promo box. It's super cheap overall, but I don't care. This is still my second ever secret rare next to First one was a pan. Uh, this cell is much cooler, even though the pan is probably worth more. Um, damn, there you go, guys. Secret rare cell. Okay, uh, I'm getting too distracted by these cards. Uh, this was probably a mistake because I feel like this video is going to be much longer than it needs to be just because <laughs> I'm so focused <laughs> on the cards. But uh, yeah, I'm still playing Dokkan. Um, as far as videos go, I'm not going to completely shut down the idea of making more Dokkan videos in the future, but it's not gonna be as frequent as it used to be, right? Cause you know, in the past, every video was basically Dokkan. I had a few like unboxings, I had a few, um, I guess vlog style videos and like videos of other games, but 99% of my videos were Dokkan videos and that's definitely gonna change. Uh, I think going forward, if I do make a Dokkan video, it's gonna be like for a big banner maybe, or just something interesting happens, I just want to talk about it, I want to give my opinion on it, then I'll record a Dokkan video, but I want to do different things. I want to explore my other passions, I want to share my other interests with you guys, so um, you're going to be seeing a lot more things like uh, eating videos, uh, unboxings, reviews, um, <laughs> maybe book readings, uh, some of you might remember the These Big Nuts video. Uh, I actually purchased the second book. Oh, wow, back-to-back -back Kid Broly's. That is interesting. Um, yeah, I actually just purchased the second book by that author of These Big Nuts. His name is Mark Thunder. He just came out with a book, or maybe not just, but recently came out with a book called Wanna Bone and I'll be doing a reading of that for sure. So if you guys enjoyed these big nuts, then look forward to uh, Wanna Bone. And um, I don't know what else, uh, workout videos, fitness videos, things like that. Uh, I recently kind of let myself go. Uh, I went on vacation last year in September and got down to about 220 pounds. That was like a fairly, not like super lean, but like a pretty lean weight for me. And then, as soon as I got back, I ballooned up to 240. I think now I'm 245 pounds, so I definitely want to go on a nice cut and uh, start working out more, doing more cardio, um, and maybe I'll record some of those workouts for you guys for anyone that needs some motivation to uh, 
you know, get fit themselves as well. Uh, I haven't fully made up my mind about exactly the style of videos that I want to make or uh, exactly what kind of like release schedule I want to have. Maybe it's just going to be random. Maybe it's just going to be whatever I'm feeling that day, whatever I'm feeling that week. I'm definitely not going to be doing daily uploads like I used to, but probably one to two videos a week, I would say, on average. Um, so yeah, that is essentially what the future of this channel is going to look like. I do apologize for anyone that was hoping for a big Dokkan comeback. Um, it's, it's probably a little bit disappointing to hear what I just said. And if you feel like I'm no longer going to be providing you with the kind of content that you're looking for, ooh, my girl, Android 18. Looking fine as always. Uh, oh, we're going to get to Android 18 in a second. But um, yeah, if you feel like I'm not going to be providing you with the content that you want and you want to unsubscribe, I totally understand because if you literally just came here to get information and guides about uh, Dokkan Battle, that's not what this channel is going to look like in the future. And therefore, it doesn't make a lot of sense for you to stick around if that's all you want, right? And uh, I totally understand if you want to leave because of that. But if you just want to see me do things that I like, and you just like me as a person, you like my personality or my face or my voice or whatever the case may be, then hopefully you guys uh, will stick around for the future content. Uh, yeah, so now segueing into Android 18. What do you mean by that? Um, because we just pulled the Android 18 card and uh, it became a thing on this channel to call my girlfriend Android 18. One big question that a lot of people have been asking me is, are you and Android 18 still dating? And the answer is no. We broke up uh, sometime last year, uh, I believe it was March. So it's been almost a year now. It's been almost a year since our breakup. And it was, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was tough. It was really, really tough in the beginning. For the first couple of months, I was, oh, we got our boy. We got our boy. This is the card I wanted to pull from the beginning. This is the reason I got this box. Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku. Uh, concentrated Destruction. I'm pretty sure that's not what he's called in Dokkan, but this is the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku from Dokkan Battle. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put this in a sleeve. So let's put this to the side. But yeah, it was really tough, guys. Uh, we dated for almost five years and essentially for the entire duration of this channel uh, we were together, right? And she became, you know, a big part of the channel. A lot of you guys really liked her, really looked forward to uh, seeing her in my videos. And um, when we broke up, I think it also made me lose a little bit of motivation to post at least for the first little while, you know, and that might have been a part of why I stopped posting too outside of the monetary thing and outside of the other reasons that I gave you in the beginning. I'm not really sure. Um, that's something I'm still maybe trying to figure out, but uh, yeah, that did happen and I'm okay now. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't too worried about me. I don't want to see anyone in the comments being like, oh, Tiger. It's gonna be okay, man. You'll get through this. Don't worry about it. You'll, uh, there's plenty of fish in the sea. You'll find someone else. I don't need any of that. I'm doing great. And the good thing is, we are still very good friends. We're still on very good terms. Um, it wasn't anything horrible that happened that caused us to break up. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but basically, we just wanted different things for our futures. And we both understood that. We were both quite mature about it. And we both knew that it was a matter of time before we had to call it off. So yeah, last year around March, we uh, officially called it, but we are still very good friends. We still see each other every once in a while. And uh, don't be too surprised if she makes an appearance in a video in the future on this channel, because like I said, we're still on extremely, extremely good terms. So uh, yeah, that answers the Android 18 question that everyone has been asking. So what else do I want to talk about? Let me just look at my list real quick. Uh, Phoenix, my little brother Phoenix, who is 13 now. He is doing really good. Um, he'll definitely be in future videos. So look forward to that. 
and uh, he is really big now. Yo, this kid is, I think, over 170 centimeters, which I believe is like 5'7", or something like that. And I wouldn't be surprised if he gets taller than me. It's definitely possible, and I really hope it happens, actually, because that would mean that uh, my dream of having someone in the family play in the NBA is still alive. So yeah, Phoenix is doing amazing. And uh, Jasper, my little dog Jasper, yo, he is an old man. Yo, this boy is turning 15 in June. I have a vet friend who actually just became uh, Jasper's full-time vet recently. Uh, she told me she has literally never met a golden doodle that old. And as far as she knows, the oldest ever golden doodle is like 16, 17 years old, which means that, um, yeah, the time might be coming soon. Knock on wood, hope it doesn't happen anytime soon, but you gotta be realistic. And honestly, I've been kind of preparing for um, him to, you know, leave us for the past couple of years. And it's something that really scares me. It's something that I don't want to think about too much, but, uh, you know, once again, you gotta be realistic. This is just how life is, and we're gonna love him and take care of him for as long as he's around. Um, but for now, he's doing really good. He's uh, still healthy, still able to run around. His legs are giving him a little bit of trouble. He has some arthritis and stuff like that, but, you know, that's natural. And, uh, yeah, he's still... He's still around, is still kicking, still going strong, and hopefully that continues to be the case for a very long time. So I think that covers most of the major players uh, in the history of this channel. Um, one last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, Toriyama. I'm sure everyone watching this video knows that uh, Akira Toriyama has passed away. Uh, at the beginning of this month actually, so it's been a couple weeks now. And it was really upsetting for me. Really, really upsetting for me. And I'm sure really upsetting for a lot of you guys as well. Um, oh, that's all the cards. Damn, those are all the facts. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about Toriyama. Um, I don't want this video to go too much longer, so I'll try to keep it brief, but I definitely think that I need to address it just because he was an extremely influential figure in my life. I mean, without him, this YouTube channel would definitely not exist. Uh, Dragon Ball, of course, would not exist. And realistically, most of our favorite shows would not exist, at least not in their current forms, right? Shows like Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, uh, the list goes on. Like, all of these shows, all of these creators were influenced by the works of Akira Toriyama. Um, you know, usually when famous people or celebrities pass away, I'm just like, well, that's sad, but that's life, right? It is what it is. But this one definitely hits really, really hard just because of how big of an impact he's had on my life. And I'm still pretty sad about it, I gotta say. So um, I just want to say thank you to Toriyama, thank you for all the joy, all the happiness, all the great times you've brought to my life and the lives of millions and millions of people around the world. Um, you will be sorely missed, you will never be forgotten, and rest in peace. So yeah, I guess I could just end the video there, but I don't think that's a great idea because the mood is just a little bit down right now. So I'm actually going to end things off by telling you guys a story of a fan interaction or a sub interaction I had recently. Um, so over the course of my time doing YouTube, I've met a decent number of subscribers in real life. Uh, probably like 10 to 15 overall, like a couple a year. But um, a few weeks ago, I had the most unique interaction. Uh, what happened was I was just driving down the street, uh, down the highway, actually. Um, not sure where I was going. Maybe to get a haircut, maybe to the gym, possibly to get groceries. Doesn't matter. The point is, I was driving down the highway, and all of a sudden, I hear this guy honking to my left, right on the driver's side of the car. And at first, I just ignore him because I'm like, it can't be me. I'm just 
minding my own business, doing nothing wrong, driving down the road, but then 10, 15 seconds later, there's more honking. So I turn to my left, I'm like, okay, what does this guy want? And I see this dude uh, smiling at me. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of strange. And then I realize he's holding up his phone and pointing at it, right? So I look over to his phone and on the screen is Dokkan Battle. It's like the login screen of Dokkan, right? So I realized, oh, this guy is a subscriber. He knows who I am. So in that moment, I wasn't really sure what I could do. So I just smiled back at him, uh, gave him a thumbs up and he drove off. And that was it. That was the interaction. It was maybe like 10 seconds in total, but uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And I took that actually as a sign to get back to doing YouTube videos. It was like a sign from the universe to uh, start making content again. So shout out to that guy, to that subscriber. I don't know who you are. Hopefully you're watching. Um, hopefully you're cool with not too many Dokkan videos going forward, but still some, still some. And uh, thank you for being part of the inspiration for me getting back to doing my thing on here. So that is the story, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. That was my life update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and look forward to more in the future. If you guys have any additional questions for me, I could come back and maybe do like a Q&A style video, maybe open another box of cards, maybe do something else, do a puzzle, who knows. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys are happy to see me again. I'm definitely happy to be doing this again. And uh, you know, it's been so long since I last recorded a video. I don't even remember how I do my sign off anymore. Uh, oh, uh, here it is, here it is. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.